hello friend this is Sofnin and welcome to learn SAP app app so in this session we are going to see how to hide and display the fields on the screen in a app using module pool or dialog programming okay so here we are going to create one main screen and we will create three different radio button on the main screen and we are going to add some fields relevant to each radio button and we are going to hide and display the fields based on the radio button selected on the screen okay so you must have done the same thing on the selection screen field using the screen group or modify screen statement in add selection screen output event but here we are going to see the same thing in a model view program okay so stay tuned in the end and keep watching this video so i'm in my sap uh, so in the last session i had shown you uh, how to use the status icon in model view program okay if you didn't watch video then click on the link given in the description okay so today what we are going to do is uh, we will just add a three button over here first is uh, uh, personal detail then communication de personal detail address detail and communication detail and based on the radio button selection we are going to hide the particular field okay if the personal detail button is selected then we are going to display the employee id first name last name and uh, rest of the and the rest of the field we are going to hide and if you select the address detail then we are going to display only country and city on screen and rest of the field we are going to hide and and if we click on the communication detail then we are going to display only email id and instagram only and the rest of the thing we are going to to hide okay so how to do that so let's go to the same program and we will modify the same program okay so So I'm in the app editor. Uh, just click on the display of the navigator. It will open the navigation screen. And as you can see here, screen. Just double click on screen. So we are going to modify this our last screen only. And then click on the layout. Okay. So. I'm in a I'm in a I'm in a screen layout. Uh, now what we are going to do? Uh, we will just add the radio button. We'll take the three radio button here. Simply drag and drop. Change the name as a red one. Make the name as a personal personal details. Then we'll take the radio button. There's a red button too. Okay, address. Okay, and we will take one more red button. Red three. Here we will give. Communication details. Okay. Okay, so now we have added the three radio button. Just to see. And I select the only three radio button and right click and click on the radio button group and define. We have to just group the three radio buttons so that we can select one button at a time. Okay, and double click on okay, and double click on any radio button with the function code as a radio rb okay so now we have assigned the radio function code to all the three radio button okay so now what we have to do is uh, we just if a user will select the personal detail we have to display only this three for employee first name and the last name if user will select the address detail then we have to display the country and city and if user will select the communication detail we have to discuss email and instagram okay so for that what we need to do we just need to assign the groups for each and every fields if you don't know how to add this field then you can watch my last video so link is also given in the description so so 
just double click on the employee ID and type group uh, give the group name ABC very good ABC again first name ABC and here also will give us a group ABC and last name ABC then for this also ABC okay so we are going to differentiate all the field in the three different group okay so now first three group for the personal detail button for the address detail we are going to give the name for the country and city okay so country we have to differentiate in G Q R as a group G Q R and for city also we'll give the P Q R and same for the input field country P Q R and same for the city P Q R okay Q R P Q R P Q R okay and then we have coming phone number so for the phone number we are going to phone number and email at instagram we will dis we will display in case of communication details selected word okay so for the phone number we are going to give us a xyz same for the label xyz same for the email xyz xyz instagram xyz and also xyz okay okay so we don't need of this valid phone number phone number button okay but uh, as of now we will keep as it is okay so okay no problem we will just remove this valid phone number button from here click and activate okay now close okay so now we have designed our screen now we need to see now we have to define the variable for the radio button just double go to your program and uh, in the global declaration define the three radio button the name we have to give the same as we had assigned the name for the radio button in screen layout where to in red three okay so this so this three radio buttons we have already defined in the selections in that screen layout okay so you can activate now again go to the screen okay so here we have need to write one module in the process before output so for this screen activity we'll write the module screen modification okay just double click on screen modification click on yes okay so now here you have to to write the logic you have to implement the logic in order to hide and display the fields on the screen okay so right if ready button one is equal to x okay so equal to x so in that case what you are okay so now here we have to loop at screen okay loop at screen and here if screen group equal to this p q r on screen group equal to x y x y z okay so what does it mean screen group of one pqr and screen group pqr x y z okay so we'll explain this once again uh, 
See here, I have given the PQR. Here, the radio button once means it's nothing but the personal detail button. Okay, this is the personal detail. This is the personal detail button. Okay, if you are selling a personal detail button, so in that screen, uh, we are just hiding the other two other two fields from this screen okay so just check over here once again radio button one is selected and screen group is nothing but pqr and xyz so we'll show you again uh, go to the screen layout once again so you will under so you will understand okay so as you can see here for this radio button we have for employee we have given abc okay first name also abc and last name also abc okay but as you can see for the country we have given the pqr for city also pqr and phone number xyz and his name okay so now what we are doing what we are actually doing in the coding so when we are selecting the personal detail so we are hiding this country city phone number email x okay so that is the reason we have use over the pqr and xyz okay so in case of address detail we will use the PQ or we can use the ABC and XYZ and in case of communication detail we are going to use ABC and PQR okay so same thing I'm implementing over here okay and our radio button one is nothing but the name we have given over here and we want the same we have declared in a global declaration okay so let's go to the editor okay here as you can see here so screen group on PQR on screen name so what you are doing screen active is about zero zero means we are hiding that particular fields okay and we'll write modify screen okay so we have to do the same thing for rest of for to the radio button also we write else if to equal to x so again we have to write the same loop just copy and paste we write the same just copy and paste right about here for the picture you are going to use abc and xyz okay and for the third data button three equal to x on this radio button we are going to use abc and p q r okay so we have done with our coding activate mm -hmm. group one group one and here is a group one okay so now we have set we have done with our coding part also so what we have done we have just initially defined the screen with the radio button and when we have added some uh, we have added field into some particular groups okay then we have declared the global in the global declaration we have declared the three radio button okay and after that uh, here in the as you can see in the pbo module we have declared the module called as a screen modification here we have written the logic if radio button one is selected then we are hiding the other two details and if you do we are hiding the address and communication detail in case of the radio button we are hiding the personal detail and communication detail in case of third radio button we are hiding personal and address detail okay so let's test the program so test the program the program will execute turn number okay so now as you can see here the radio button person detail radio button has already selected but all the fields are getting displayed over here okay so why it's happening because we all the three radio button we have kept in one particular group okay so by default it is selecting the first radio button okay but at the runtime it doesn't 
it doesn't identify the which radio button is selected okay for that reason we need to write one simple code we will show you that one also so now if you select an android system we will display only a country and phone country country and city detail okay if you click see you can uh, if you click on communication see now okay so now we will go to the code once again okay your yeah, screen modification here we need to add sample code if red one is initial and red two is initial and red three is initial so what we will do by default we will make one radio button as a selected okay ink execute okay now we will check once again go to this refresh the program as you go in the employee okay so now as you can see here now only first radio button has selected now if you see as add address button it will hide this button address button see you can see only country and city and if you click communication return then as you can see phone number and email id okay personal return address return and communication return okay so this is the way you can hide some fields from this screen as per your requirement okay if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in a comment section below if you want to learn more about a app then visit to my website www.learnicpapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out